good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the seventh session of the second convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, speech by Prime Minister Saddam Ali Khan, Western Armenia, the nature of their sim, there is no Nagorno-Karabakh, there is the Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian, many journalists have been arrested in Tigran Akert, Secretary General of the Council of Europe of Croatia, Maria Burik, visited the genocide of Armenia's memorial complex in Europe. The Armenian Ombudsman in Washington presented to the Congressman the issue of the immediate repatriation of Armenian captives of war from Azerbaijan. The world premiere of the film Aurora Sunrise will take place in France. At the seventh session of the second convocation of the National Assembly, the work continued in an atmosphere of active discussion and proposals. After the speech of President of Western Armenia, Armin Abramian, the Prime Minister of Western Armenia, said American, made a speech, welcoming everyone. She thanked those present, briefly presenting a report on the work done by the government. She called a great success in working with such structures as the Tizernak Abert Memorial Complex within a framework of cooperation with which they received permission to organize a commemoration ceremony money for the innocent victims of the genocide on April 28. Read the full article on our official website. The central part and quarters of the city of Dersim in Western Armenia, built between steep mountains, appear in different shades of color every season. The forests, which are visited mainly by tourists in autumn, amaze with their colorful splendor and become one of the main places for nature lovers. Visitors spend time in oxygen-rich forests where fauna is also diverse, wild goats, grizzly bears and others. The State Minister of the Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian, reacted to the next post statement of the President of Azerbaijan, Ilyam Aliyev, regarding the Republic of Artsakh. On his Telegram page, Beglarian in particular wrote, Yes, Nagorno-Karabakh does not exist because the Republic of Artsakh exists and is a subject of international law, although not officially recognized at the international level. The conflict between Azerbaijan and Artsakh will be settled and will not be settled until Azerbaijan takes into account the right of the indigenous people of Artsakh to self-determination. Nation. Beglarian wrote, according to Artsakh State Minister, it would be good if Aliyev thought more about the consequences performances of the powers assigned by him by the constitution of Azerbaijan, guaranteeing the right of his own citizens, Lesgis, Talish, Avars, Tatars and other minorities, instead of worrying about the rights of Armenians, Beglarian wrote. Back on June 8, Turkish law enforcement agencies in Tigran Akert broke into the house of numerous journalists and many offices and detained 20 journalists and arrested 16, subjecting representatives of the opposition media to criminal persecution. The Turkish authorities continue to persecute freedom of speech. In front of the courthouse, journalists, partners and relatives of detainees hold protest actions voicing the slogans, free press cannot be silenced and resisting we will win. We condemn violation of human rights and restrictions of the freedom of speech in the city of Tigran Akert in Western Armenia. On June 16, a delegation headed by the Secretary General of the Council of Europe of Croatia, Maria Burik, arrived in Armenia and visited the genocide of Armenia's memorial complex in Yerevan. She was accompanied by the Deputy Foreign Minister of Armenia, Parul Hovanisyan. In the memorial complex of the victims of genocide of Armenia's Deputy Director of the Museum Institute for Museum Affairs, Lucine Abrahamian, welcoming the guests, presented the history and the creation of the memorial. The members of the European delegation laid flowers at the internal flame and honored the memory of innocent victims of genocide of Armenians with a minute of silence. The delegation accompanied by Lucine Abrahman also visited a museum institute dedicated to the memory of victims of the genocide of Armenians that got acquainted with a permanent and temporary exhibition. On June 16, a discussion meeting was held in a U.S. Capitol building between the era human rights defender Christina Grigorian and a number of members of the Armenian Congressional Commission. This is reported by the Office for the Protection of Human Rights of the Republic of Armenia. The era human rights defender presented to the congressman the work carried out by the Ombudsman Institution with the families of captives of war and detained civilians and presented the issue of immediate repatriation of the captives of war and other civilians held in Azerbaijan, which is an international obligation of of Azerbaijan. Among humanitarian issues, Christina Grigorian presented the problems of families, missing and displaced people. The congressman thanked the human rights defender for consistent work on important issues and expressed their readiness to continue their efforts to solve problems. 
Aurora Sunrise is a historical animated documentary about the film of Aurora Mardiganyan. At just 14 years old, in 1915, Mardiganyan faced the horror of the genocide of Armenians. A year later, she saw the death of everyone in her family. She lost everything. With unusual bravery and luck, Mardiganyan fled to America. The purpose of the Zorian Institute is to bring live the evidence of their history on a big screen through animated documents to convey the young generation the stories of survivors of the genocide. The film is directed directed by Ina Sahagyan and produced by Bars Media. This is just the beginning of how these principal stories of the survivors of genocide of Armenians will become known. The world premiere of the film Aurora Sunrise will take place this week at a prestigious Annecy International Animated Film Festival in France. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.